I'm Freddie Bell, and I'm a multidisciplinary artist with my studio here at the Eno Arts Mill. You know, I was very much into it from the beginning as a kid and growing up, and I stuck with it through most of my life. Kind of, you know, fought with what are the like expectations of what I'm supposed to do with my life and education and career and stuff, but ultimately like couldn't stay away from studying art in college. So I did that and then kept at least somewhat of an art practice on and off for some years while having like other arts related jobs. So I always like kept it close by, even if I wasn't in my own practice. And then started focusing more on my practice and have been working as a full-time artist for about three years now. The title Dispossession came from thinking primarily about grief and loss and brainstorming with Beth one of the things that I, I'll do a lot with like titles or just like what I'm thinking about and trying to put language to my visual art, I'll just go in like the dictionary and the thesaurus. I guess I put grief, maybe I put loss in the thesaurus and dispossession was like the only interesting synonym for loss. <laughs> and we were like, ooh, that sounds cool. For a couple years now, my practice has been all about grief and the body and like our interior systems and how we like physically hold on to loss and trauma and change in life. And like our bones hold on to all of those stories. And so I've been gradually making these individual bone sculptures they like act on their own as an individual sculpture as like a container for grief that bone can hold some of your story so that it doesn't all have to be in trapped in our internal systems but they're also meant to be like gathered and installed in this like collective way in piles and in different ways and I really wanted it to be an interactive thing so that people can have this moment to give some of that grief and some of that loss to this uh, new and external container. Getting to have this opportunity to show in the gallery as an Eno Mill artist I knew all along that I'd want to make sure I shared that with somebody else. It's just like a really cool and good opportunity. And the reason why I asked Beth in particular to do that is because in our work, we're approaching really similar themes and subject matter, but we go about it in completely different ways. And so I was really interested in what is the same and what is different about our work. And I think Visually, it's really striking since my work is so bright and colorful and theirs is like black and white. I'm really proud of what we've put together with my work and Beth's work. And I think it is a really beautiful show seeing these really different pieces together and they're all I think very striking as a group and as individual works. And I also really encourage people to come and interact with the installation and have a moment for some healing and processing, which we all really need. <laughs>